Alrighty, we have some uh, DIY wiring here we got to straighten out. You can see how sloppily they did this. You can see they didn't bring the cable into the box the way it should be done. So, uh, and I'll show you the sloppy work they did on the outlet inside too. We're not going to be able to get it out. It's all rusted up. I'll try a flat. We can't get it out, we're not going to frustrate, we'll just cut it. Yeah, it's too rusty to get it out, but you can see how badly corroded it is inside. So we're not frustrating. So we'll cut our wires here. our black wire a little bit longer. Jack it back a little further here. Stripped, got a cut. Okay, so we'll drill some holes here along the middle of our sky. straight. And when you drill your holes, you want to make sure you keep it in the center of the stud so that your uh, uh, sheetrock nails and screws don't hit the light. so we don't touch our black wire.
Okay, so we'll mount our nail on box up here. Bring our wires through the uh, opening on the top of the box here. We'll get our box nailed onto our stud here. Make sure it's nice and flush. Yep, it's nice and flush. And we'll get a staple up here. You always gotta get a staple up at the near your box where your wires go in. And now we'll hook our outlet up. So, uh, here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. And you may find white live in a switch loop where there's uh, the switch is after the light or in a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral like a baseboard electric heater or a hot water heater. So your live wire goes on the brass screw, which is the narrow slot. Your white wire goes on your silver screw, which is the wider slot, and that's your neutral. The bare wire goes on your uh, green screw which is the ground so we'll hook this up get our black wire up out of the way here Doesn't come off, you don't get frustrated. You just do it again. It doesn't come off again, you just do it again. That's it. All right, so we put our ground wire around the green screw. You always put your wire around the screw the direction the screw turns. that, we'll put our white wire around our silver screw, and again we'll put it around the screw, the direction our screw turns, like that. And we got a nice connection like that. We'll flip it down, we'll get our black around our brass colored screw here, which is our hot wire. You always make your loop the direction your screw turns. So we got it around our screw, the direction our screw turns. You want to make sure you don't get the insulation pot under the screw head. And there it is. We have a nice tight connection. Now we'll just screw this into our box, keeping our ground wire down away from everything here.
I like to carry extra 832 and 632 screws in the van so we always have screws in case we're missing one. So now we'll try to pop that other outlet out of the box that's junk. You can see how sloppily they put this in. So we'll just try to we'll see if we can just break it out. There it is. That one broke. We'll just break it off like this. So you can see how poorly they hook this up. We'll just break it off like that. And there you can see how sloppily the uh, wires were put around the screws. And uh, that is why it got hot and all corroded. I'll bring the camera down close to show you that with the flashlight on so you can see it better. So that is how to properly wire and install an outlet here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching. There's how the white wire and the ground wire were hooked up. And that's how the black wire was hooked up.